Hi guys, got a little bit of a project on our hands um, getting prepared for hunting season. We wanted to be able to camp in the Jeep. We wanted to be able to take our gear with us and pull over side of the road, camp, be able to walk into the woods, whether we're out hunting, fishing, hiking, foraging, whatever we've got going on. We wanted to make the Jeep where it fit more of our activities, where if we were out somewhere we wanted to stay, we could just basically do so. Um, doing a little bit of research on all of the elevated platforms that you guys are building for the um, JK Unlimiteds, and we're doing the same thing. Ours is going to be about six, 16 inches tall above the deck. We're going to put a three inch foam topper on it. Uh, doing the research, one of the cool things that I saw were the vents that go in the back windows, um, the roll down windows on the doors. Uh, Looking around in the bulk of the vents that are available, the production vents, they're around 150, 200 bucks a pair. Um, saw some guys using different stuff, different kinds of mesh. Um, while we were at Home Depot looking for the wood, the 2x4, the plywood, everything that we needed to build the platform, we were looking um, for the stuff to build the vents out of. Seen some guys do it out of plastic, basically using the same stuff. Um, what we found was this material, it's, it's your metal gutter guard. It's called... I don't know the name of the company who made it, but the um, it's called the Hoover Dam um, Gutter Guard. And it comes in 36 inch pieces, available at Home Depot, and I think it was just under $5 um, for this 36 inch piece. Got home, measured the windows, and each uh, vent needs to be, in order to tuck into each side of the window trim, and then tuck underneath, it needs to be 18 inches long. So, which worked out really well because this comes in a 36 inch piece, so all you've got to do is cut it in half. The nice thing about this is it's metal. And so it's rigid. So once it's in place, it's not going to fall out. It's not floppy. Um, critters, whatever else, aren't going to be able to just push it in. Um, another reason that we got this is because of the angles of it and these basically smooth metal portions where the expanded metal um, is separated. So on these, what I'm hoping, obviously I haven't tested it yet, even though it is raining um, at the moment. These, what I'm hoping for is with the smooth metal here, that the rain, if it does hit it, it'll just run down these ridges. And it is um, vented at the bottom down here. So what we're going to do is run a bead of caulk in here, smooth it out. So that way, if the rain is coming down, if it tries to collect in here, it'll just run off and run down the window. Because what happens is with this metal lip, when once this is slid into the track and this is rolled up, your window comes up and it tucks underneath this metal lip. So I mean, there's nowhere for the stuff to go. So other than cutting it in half, the only thing that I've had to do so far to get it to fit, and this one is the cut one, is take and basically cut three eighths of an inch off of each end of the channel and just leave this the same width behind it, but the front channel, because this is on the outside of the window, um, needed to be cut so this portion out here could fit into the window track and this metal um, expanded metal is a little bit larger so we got some aluminum window screen and what I'm going to do with the aluminum window screen is take and put it behind this so this will be the outside of the window and then the finer um, window screen will be back behind it Then once that's done what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to round out these corners and probably take off a good portion of this open mesh at the top because, I mean, obviously if rain's coming down, it's going to get in here. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit to where more of this tucks into the window seal so the door will kind of act like the, um, the shutter for the top of it. So it'll come down, hit the door, and then run down here, and then we're still vented under here. And then round out these corners, and I'm going to take the um, automotive door edge trim, the black U-channel, once the screen is on the back, put some adhesive around it and then put the um, door trim around this to hold it all together, hold it in place. And that way I don't have sharp edges tearing up the window trim um, on the Jeep. So hopefully this works pretty well. I mean, it took one cut to cut it in half and then a little notch on each end with a pair of snips. So it took maybe three minutes to get to this point. So really simple modification, and we'll keep you guys posted. We've got a lot more going on. We've got the deck we've got to build, um, the mattress topper, which I think we're going to get a full-size um, three-inch mattress topper and kind of trim it down, get one of those with a cover. 
and then storage and everything else. So once we get a little bit further along, we'll keep you guys updated, let you know how the progress is going, and then basically show you all what we did because um, there's some great videos on YouTube now about how other folks have done this. We're doing ours a little bit different because my elevated platform, I want it to be the tough box as well, but I don't want to spend a few hundred dollars on the tough box. So I'm going to build the frame, um, deck it with a three quarter inch platform, um, do the cuts around the edges so it butts up to the tailgate. And that way, um, when the gate's closed, if we're riding around with the top off, it can act like a storage box as well where nobody can get in there. And then when, if we want to pull over and go camping, we'll have the other, the middle piece and the top piece um, to put in for the bed. So we'll make it all self-containing and we'll show you guys how it all works out. But stay tuned and thanks for watching.